Hey. Welcome. Absolutely walk-ins, totally fine. I actually have some free time right now. Yeah, take a seat. I'm GV. Nice to meet you. So, what brought you in today? Oh yeah, you saw the promotion outside. Cool. I thought that might bring some people in. Yeah, I'm doing free tattoo designs for those people who are a little hesitant, a little unsure about getting their first or second or third tattoo. Mm -hmm. So, I can actually just draw it on you today. How does that sound? Yeah, think of it as like a trial run. See if you like the sizing, see if you like the colors, the placement, sort of stuff. And then come back and get it done by me, you get 15% off. Don't go run off and get another artist to go over my lines. It won't be as detailed, um, the shading will be lacking, um, because I'm just using Sharpie markers. It'll be fine for your skin. I'll put a protectant over it. So what do you say? Cool. So have you been thinking about getting a tattoo for a while? I think that a lot of people consider it. Even less go through with it. Um, I have a few myself. They're under these sleeves. But, I can show you my portfolio, we can look at, um, my schedule, and, and we can find a good design and, and time for you to get it. Amazing. So, if this is your first tattoo, I'm also gonna have you sign a consent form. If this isn't your first tattoo, I'm still gonna make you sign a consent form. So here you go, just sign on the line, thank you, I'll take that. So this is basically just saying that I have your consent to draw on you even though it's not permanent, and that you won't get another artist to do my work, especially if it's custom work. Otherwise, what's the point of having this promotion, right? Okay, well, do you have an idea or any references of what you might like? You're just walking in? Okay, no problem. Um, are you into pop culture? I can tell by your t-shirt you might be. Okay, cool. So let me show you this portfolio. Um, it has some fun stuff, and depending on what you're into, um, I can just go over some things and we can maybe de decide on a design. So, this is one of my books. And I'll just show you a few pages, starting with a pretty popular design. These are the horoscope star signs. And you have each one. Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Sagittarius, that's me, Scorpio, Taurus, and Virgo. So what's your sign? Okay, 
And you can also get the sign of a loved one. You know, parent, partner, child. You don't have to just get your own. I actually have in the back here. These are the more of a symbolic take of the horoscope, so there's mine. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's go to the next page. I want you to look at a few. Okay, so jumping heavily into pop culture, um, we have the characters from Overwatch. Um, if you're familiar, but uh, we have, we can do Winston, Reaper, Widowmaker, Tracer, Symmetra, Farah, she's a good one, I've done quite a few Farah tattoos, Hanzo, Torbjorn, Bastion, Mercy, Zenyatta, are you a support? Reinhardt. Zarya. Junkrat. Soldier 76. I actually just did a Grillmaster 76 on somebody. Yeah? Super into grilling. Roadhog. McCree. Lucio. Diva. We can do her in mech or out of mech. May and Snowball. Genji. Anna. Sombra. And Arisa. Yeah, I had a mother-daughter pair do Anna and Farah. It was cool. It's a very cute tattoo. And I can do any combination, any design, whether it be more of the traditional art. Um, why not? Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. No worries. Okay, if you're looking for more of, um, a basic symbol, uh, we have the elements, and these are inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender, but elements are present in our everyday world and in many, many works. Um, but here we have water, air, fire, and earth. So if you're looking for something more specific, they actually branch off. From fire, we can get combustion or lightning. From air, we can do void or projection. From water, we can do blood or plant. From earth, we can do lava or metal. If you don't want the typical earth, f fire, you know, you could do something a little more exciting, like I love the lightning design. Let me show you more. Okay. So, this page is your Patronus. So, this is by the Myers Brig test. If you're not sure what animal is your Patronus or what you would choose. Um, for example, if you're an ESTP, you'd be a bear. Um, ESTJ, elephant. Owl. Yeah. That's a good one. I believe I'm ENFJ. I haven't taken it in a while. But that is wolf. I'm either J or P. So I'm either a horse or a wolf. I think I'll take the wolf. But yeah. We have a fox, turtle, deer, 
rabbit, owl, serpent, cat, eagle, bear, otter, elephant, lion, wolf, dog, seahorse, and land horse. So those are all of my um, specialty pop culture ones. Of course I can do any character or movie reference that you want, um, but I find that I really enjoy doing these, uh, especially if you're into it, you know? But I can show you a couple of more traditional and honestly like smaller, more simple designs on this page. We have a lot of outdoorsy, woodsy, natural, small, simple designs. But stuff like mountains, trees and forests, the sun. Stay mild, get a desert with little cacti, tiny vans, a bearded guy with a pipe, definitely not Santa Claus. Live simply. Ah, you like these? Take a look. I really like these too. And you can totally get a combo of them, get them whatever size you want, wherever you want, you know? And then finally, if you're a cat lover, there are these cat doodles. And they're these adorable little kitty cats. They're sleeping or sitting. And you got skinny cats, fat cats, short cats. I personally love this little guy right here. I have him on my leg. Yeah, we could be twins, I don't care. Cool. Okay. So, what do you think? Good choice. Um, I can definitely do that for you. We can combine and make it look really cool. So, where are you thinking? Yeah, let me see. Inner arm. Let me see your arm. Okay. Yeah. I think this would be a perfect space for it. Right here. So we can go from here to here. What do you think? Okay. Nice. Um, and you want this full color? I can do it. And if you don't like the color, um, you know, when you come back to get it done, we can do it black and white if you don't like it, but might as well go for the color and see if that's what you prefer. Very nice. Okay. Well, you just keep sitting there. Um, let me prep my station. My setup is pretty similar to how I'll be doing it on the day. Uh, basically, I'm going to need to put on my gloves and even though the inner arm really isn't too hairy, uh, I'm just going to give you a little shave. I think this design might go a little bit to the side and top of your arm. Not too much the top, but a little bit the side. I just like to have a perfectly smooth canvas. Okay, so. Don't be nervous. I have done this a million times before. Here is my razor. I'm um, just gonna get a little paper towel. Um, and I'm gonna dip this in water. Can I have your arm, please? And 
I just have the classic shaving cream. This is fine to use. Okay, great. I'm gonna have you lay your arm flat and I'm just gonna get a little. this into your arm. Okay. Now that it's on your arm. I know. Very regular shaving experience. I'm just going to get another paper towel, first of all. I'm just going to shave with the grain first. going to do is provide a base for the sharpie. So this just goes on here. Like that. And um, it provides um it provides a protective layer because you know sharpie isn't made for skin. Um, it's safe, you'll be fine. But, uh, you know, I just want to take precautions, so it's a protective layer as well as um, a good primer for the marker ink. So it should stay on a little bit more than it should um, with less, um, like, ink bleeding. So that's why I like to use this. I can put that aside for now. Um... So let's get started. What I'm going to do is how I work is I do the coloring first, especially with this design that you want, and then I will outline around it so it should get a really good effect like the one you're looking for. Okay. So let's start with the lighter colors and then we go darker, darker, darker. Okay. And I'm just going to do this pretty, um, pretty smoothly using the side of the marker. Do you feel that? Yeah, it just feels like a marker. <laughs> Sorry, I have to adjust my glove. So I'm just gonna go in with the yellow. Good. It's a good highlight. 
next we're gonna want to go in with this sort of minty green um, and this is gonna be for right here okay and it's just this part so we'll not do much minty green at the reference photo over here. And since we're combining the two, um, I want to use the color of this yeah, for at least this part right here. This is really gonna make it pop. Oh yeah. How's that? Pretty good, right? Gonna hold your arm right here. And get that. Okay. Okay. Should be good for the coloring. Yeah, you can sort of see how it's taking shape, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do the outline next. Perfect. So I should be able to go ahead and use the thick black sharpie. Um, and then I'm going to be using this thin purple one for more of the detailed lines. Um, and it'll give it a little bit of a distinction which should look cool. Okay, here we go. I draw in small lines, but never like it's always A lot of people when they're drawing something they go back and forth, back and forth, but you should finish your line, you know?
just get a little bit of the detail. Okay. Yeah, that's really small. That's good. That looks perfect. I want to just get in and do a little bit of the Tiny details make such a difference. That's really good. Um, yeah, what do you think? I mean, I really like how it turned out. Um, so I'm glad you do too. I think that's the perfect size. Um, and this is just the basic color and outline that uh, I'll do um, during your appointment. It will turn out a lot more detailed, um, and the colors will be better with my tattoo ink. But you like it? Awesome. Very cool. So let's set up your appointment. All right. Sweet. Let me look in my planner thing. <laughs> Tuesday. This will probably be a three hour session at most. Okay, can you do Wednesday? All right, yeah, I'm free. I'll go ahead and put you down for Wednesday at noon. Um, and we can go to three. I'm leaving room for if you want a break or anything like that. It's totally fine. Um, my clients take breaks all the time. Not a big deal. Awesome. Well, come in with no sleeves, please. Um, so I can get started on your tattoo. Uh, make sure you don't drink any alcohol. Just be hydrated. And make sure you eat before. Do you have any other questions? Well, I am super excited. I'm glad you stopped in. I can't wait to tattoo this on you. It's gonna look awesome. Alright, well, I'll see you then. <laughs>